Fresh off her second State of the State address, Governor Christy Nome says she's ready for her second year in office. 2019 was full of ups and downs and plenty of local and national headlines, from a pro business stance to a controversial campaign and perhaps switching gears on a topic she's opposed. Governor Nome is talking to Kelloland News about her first year in office. On tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Brady Mallory brings you that conversation and what Nome is focusing on for the future. The next governor of the great state of South Dakota, Christy Nome. 2019 marked a big shift for Governor Christy Nome. After many years going back and forth to Washington, D.C., as a congressional representative, Nome was starting a new job. You know, South Dakota is my home. And so to be here all the time and to be in this role has been a very um, humbling, uh, yet a big honor for our family. During her first State of the State address, Noam indicated two of her biggest priorities would be tackling the meth problem in the state and boosting a pro-business climate. We're going to roll out the red carpet for businesses that want to locate here, welcome them here, help them expand. She says she plans to continue that in her second year in South Dakota's highest office. In her 2020 State of the State, she says she wants to eliminate red tape. She says there are several bills in the legislature that'll do that. She says that includes legislation to get rid of certain education requirements that aren't necessary if a business owner has any type of degree, streamlining certain careers, and eliminating certain licenses that aren't necessary to public safety. Noam sees this as a way to remove obstacles that could keep away potential new businesses. Doing that through legislative session is incredibly important to get that in statute and push it forward so that individuals know that when they come to South Dakota, they can immediately get to work. Noam counts this focus on business as a highlight from her first term, which has seen its fair share of challenges. She says right away, snow, rain, and flooding began a difficult 2019 for South Dakota. So we immediately went into uh, coordinating activities between counties and cities and tribes with the state and getting FEMA assistance, and it never really stopped all year. I'm on meth. And then there was the meth, we're on it campaign. Noam says it's meant to be provocative, but it drew national criticism from people who said it mocked addiction. Others said it was helpful because it spread awareness about addiction. You know, people ask me quite often if if it was worth it. And, um, you know, it's kind of a hard question to answer because, you know, for that individual that finally sat down and had a conversation with someone about their addiction and finally reached out and got help, uh, maybe for them it was worth it. Noam says the state is moving on with phase two of the campaign and has asked for $3.7 million in the state's 2021 budget to spend on intensive meth treatment and enforcement. This is on top of the $4.6 million the legislature approved for this year. And I'm much more interested now in what we can do to give people the tools that they need to help people heal. Noam spent much of her first year opposing legalizing industrial hemp and vetoed a bill the legislature approved. This year, Noam could be leaning in the opposite direction. The conversation and the situation has changed since last year. I think most people remember that I said we weren't ready for a program last year. Um, and since that time, things have changed. We do have federal guidelines now. Uh, we do have a Native American tribe that has been given the green light to go ahead with a program. And we also have other states around us that have legalized hemp. As she begins her second year, Noam doesn't know what it'll bring. She says she hopes to bring new industries, new careers, and keep more people in the state. That's really my vision for South Dakota, is that every single person who wants to be here can find their dream job and career and stay right here in South Dakota. Congratulations, Governor Nome. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mann. We also asked Governor Nome about past trips to Washington, D.C. to meet with President Donald Trump. She says she doesn't see a cabinet position for her. She says South Dakota is where she wants to be and where she wants to stay.